Okay, let's talk about retirement investments. Okay, so when you retire, hopefully you put money away in a retirement fund. Um, and then when you go to re retire, there's a required minimum amount that you are supposed to take out. That's called the required minimum distribution. Okay, so here's John Neff. He saved $4,000 each year in his IRA for 25 years. Here's the important numbers. At 75, the fair market value for his IRA, that's his retirement account, was $394,500.34. Using the lifetime table below, what's his required minimum distribution? When we have our formula here. What we're going to do is take the market value of his IRA, divide it by his life expectancy factor. So he is age 75. So we go down to age 75. And here is his life expectancy factor. It's 22.9. So we take the market value of his policy, or sorry, his retirement account, $394,500.34, divide it by that factor, which was 22.9, the number we got from the chart. Okay, when we do that, we get $17,227.09. So that's the minimum amount he is required to take out of the account when he starts um, withdrawing from it. Okay, here's John Johnson at 76. He has a, an IRA. Okay, so here's his age. Um, the value of the IRA is $114,000. And again, they want to know what's his required minimum distribution. So again, we just follow the chart here. The fair market value for his IRA was 114000 And his life expectancy factor, well, he's 76. So we go to the chart. Here's 76. The life expectancy factor is 22.0. So we just take 114000 divided by 22. Okay, so his minimum requirement is $5,181.82. Alright, here we have Franny May. Franny May is 73 years old. She has an IRA, and its fair market value is $324,650. What is the penalty she would incur if she failed to take the minimum distribution? So believe it or not, if you don't take out enough money, you are penalized, okay? And the amount you're penalized by is 50% of your required distribution. So if you don't take out enough, they you get a penalty of half of that amount that you were supposed to take out. So again, we're going to find her required minimum amount, and then we will do 50% of that. Okay, so her fair market value, what is it? It's $324,650. And then her life expectancy factor, she's 73. So at the age of 73, that life expectancy factor is 24.7. We go ahead and divide those. 324,650 divided by 24.7. When we do that, we get 13,143. Point seven two. Okay, so that's how much she's required to take out minimally. If she does not take that out, she is penalized. She gets a penalty of 15, 50%. So move the decimal two places to the left. That gives us 0. 0.5. And we're going to multiply that by 13,143.72. So her penalty then would be $6,571.86. She would be penalized for not taking out the minimum amount. Okay. Um, the other way you can incur a penalty with a retirement account is if you take the money out before you're supposed to, before your retirement. 
okay? The only way you don't have to pay a penalty on that is if it is for uh, the money, is for paying for education for yourself, your children, or your grandchildren, then there's no penalty. Um, there's also no penalty um, if it's used to buy your first home, okay? Um, other than that, you are penalized. Um, you're penalized 10% of your distribution amount. Okay, so whatever you take out, we really don't need the minimum required distribution for this type of question. Um, you're penalized 10% of whatever you borrowed from your IRA. Okay, so here's Fannie Mae, she's 73. She has an IRA and its fair market value is $324,650. What penalty would she incur if she made an early withdrawal of $12,000 to pay off her debts? Okay. So since it was not for education, paying for someone's education, she does have to pay a penalty of 10% of what she took out. So move the decimal two places to the left for our percent, gives us 0.1, and we multiply it by whatever amount she took out for her debts. And in this case, it was 12,000. And that is her penalty. So her penalty would be $1,200 that she would have to pay for taking that money out early. Okay, Jonas Kramer is 78 and has an IRA. Its market value is 420,000. What penalty would he incur if he made an early withdrawal of 30,000 to pay for a grandchild's college education? Okay, well normally you're penalized 10% of what you take out. But again, if the amount you take out is for your college education, your child's or your grandchild's education, there is no penalty. So his penalty would be nothing because he was taking the money out for his grandchild's education.